With all that work going on at Sketchytopia, you'd better believe that come Saturday night, the team escapes those harsh realities so they can dance the night away, disco style. Now find some bell bottoms, platform shoes, and flashy jewelry so we can get down on it. And on that note, let's talk about meiosis. Meiosis is the process where a single diploid cell goes through two rounds of division to generate four genetically diverse haploid daughter cells with just half the usual number of chromosomes. Meiosis occurs in germ cells of sexually reproducing organisms. Remember that germ cells give rise to the gametes, egg and sperm. To show that, we drew these egg sperm pods. Now, before we hit the dance floor, here's a table that summarizes the major differences between mitosis and meiosis. Pause the video to soak it in if you need to. All right, overview over. Let's boogie into meiosis. The entire process of meiosis has two rounds of cell division. The first round is called meiosis I and the second meiosis II. Each round of cell division consists of four stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. We'll begin with prophase I. Again, just like in mitosis, the chromatin condenses into chromosomes, the nucleolus disappears, the nuclear envelope starts breaking down, and the spindle apparatus begins assembly. Everything clear so far? Good. Now here's where things get homologous? Yep, that's right. The homologous chromosomes are chromosomes that carry the same genes, one from each parental source. Now, homologous chromosomes are also present in mitosis, but in mitosis, they don't give up where their partner is. In prophase I, however, they pair up to make what's known as a tetrad. This is depicted by the cute couple pairing up on the dance floor. Aww. This pairing is also called synapsis. Something magical happens next, so pay extra attention. The homologous chromosomes swap chromosomal segments in a process called crossing over. To remember that, here's a duo crossing arms to swap drinks. Just so you know, the point of contact where the chromosomes cross over is called the chiasmata. This recombination event is a random process that results in creation of chromosomes with a unique set of alleles. All right, so now we've reached metaphase one. In metaphase one, spindle fibers attach to the homologous chromosomes and align them near the center at the metaphase plate. This is represented by the metal androids holding metal plates, with a glaring lack of adult beverages, I might add. Who programmed these things? Moving on. The next stage is anaphase one, where homologous chromosomes are pulled apart to opposite poles of the cell. And nothing makes me more angry than getting separated by droids. Pick on someone your own size, guys. Remember, it's homologous chromosomes that are pulled apart in anaphase one. The sister chromatids remain attached to each other at the centromere, and they won't separate until the next round of cell division. Anyways, let's move on to telophase one. Here, the spindle fibers go away and the nuclear envelope forms around the two new nuclei of the dividing cell. Hmm, I wonder where these teleporter pods go. Whatever the case may be, at this point, the cells might enter a period of rest known as interkinesis before starting meiosis II. So after completing the first round of cell division, we now have two haploid cells with duplicated chromosomes. To remember that, we drew half of an android body floating in space. I've got a lot of questions. But we're not done yet, because another round of cell division takes place. And this one should feel eerily familiar because the sister chromatids are separated in meiosis II just like they are in mitosis. Except that the dividing cells only have half of the genetic material in meiosis II, of course. The result? Four genetically diverse haploid daughter gametes. Whew, all that dancing has made me sleepy. But I have enough energy for a short recap before we get the funk out of here. Meiosis is the process where a single diploid cell goes through two rounds of cell division to generate four genetically unique haploid daughter cells, or gametes. Meiosis occurs in germ cells of sexually reproducing organisms. Each round of meiosis has four stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. In prophase I, the homologous chromosomes pair up before crossing over. In metaphase I, the homologous chromosomes line up at the metaphase plate. In anaphase I, the homologous chromosomes are pulled apart. In telophase I, the spindle fibers go away and the nuclear envelope reforms before the dividing cell splits via cytokinesis the cell may enter a period of rest before completing meiosis II. And meiosis II looks a whole lot like mitosis in that the sister chromatids are separated. The result of meiosis II is four genetically distinct daughter cells. 